I'm back in Atlanta. I know you guys weren't expecting that so soon. Um, but if you heard me in the last video, I said I almost booked a flight and went home. Well, after I shot that video, I did book a flight to come home. There was just several things that added up on my trip in Italy that just, it wasn't making sense. It wasn't the right time. I felt like there was some unresolved things to take care of at home. My computer wasn't working. I brought too much stuff. So I felt like it was a smarter choice to go ahead and come back to Atlanta now and go back to Italy another time when I feel a little bit more relaxed and prepared. Um, so I'm going back to doing the plastic stuff again because I was really actually enjoying that and if you saw in the last video I learned that there's an issue almost everywhere you go so I'm actually brainstorming some interesting ideas about in the future when I do get to start traveling again how I'm going to incorporate this plastic reduction into travel. But for now, I'm back in Atlanta, and like I said, I wanted to check out a local farmer's market when I came back, and I've also ordered some reusable products online, like plastic wrap, reusable plastic wrap, and reusable Ziploc bags, and reusable produce bags, etc. So I'm really excited to try those out, but they haven't come yet, so today I'm just checking out the farmer's market. It won't be 100% plastic free because I don't have the containers and I actually forgot just about everything that I was going to bring to this today. So I'm just going to see how things come as is if you don't bring your own bag and then next week hopefully I'll have my stuff and I'll be able to start asking if I can put things in my own container and really reduce my plastic waste. So on my way right now to check out Brookhaven Farmer's Market in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see what happens. So I just got out and I did buy a lot of stuff. Um, I got two dozen eggs and that was $13. And I didn't find a lot of meat. They actually didn't have as much stuff as I thought that they would. Um, it was a rather small farmer's market. And it was one of those ones that's got a lot of like specialty things like they make juices and coffee and like pastries and all that cool homemade shit but like not what I'm looking for I'm looking mainly for produce and meat and veggies and I they really didn't have a lot of options like I wanted to love this so bad like I'm gonna have to go check out another farmer's market and see if there's a bigger one but um, I couldn't find eggs for less than six dollars a dozen and then I mean that's not too bad, it's like a dollar more than what I pay for pasture eggs, 
it's raised eggs at the grocery store, but it's still like a lot. And then I met a lot of really nice people. Um, they liked my plastic challenge idea. Um, one lady even asked to get my YouTube channel from me so she could go check it out, which is awesome. Um, but like, and I get it, it's expensive because they don't have enough people. I talked to one guy for quite a while about how um, farmers markets are so expensive because people are always going to grocery stores and then they come here and just buy a few things as opposed to like if we spent 50 or 60 dollars at one setting you know eventually their prices would lower which is true but that's a long ways away I feel like because this is pretty much what I was expecting price wise maybe even a little more expensive than what I was expecting so I'm disappointed because I'm not really sure how I'm gonna fit this into my budget on a regular basis and they didn't have any meat which I was looking forward to getting as well so I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to get the food that I need I think um, so there's other farmers markets there's other online places I'm not giving up I'm gonna try to find something different I did buy some stuff today just to support but it it was really depressing for me because I bought like so little stuff for how much I spent. The stuff looks great. I mean, fresh. That's nice. I feel healthy. But I really wanted meat and I didn't get any meat and I can't live off eggs and kale and spinach. So I guess we'll see what I find later because I don't think I can afford to come back here on a regular basis. Spent $54 and this is what I got. Like a pint of strawberries, couple zucchinis, couple cucumbers, two dozen eggs, an almost yogurt container full of granola, a small bag of baby kale, baby spinach, a little thing of asparagus, and a big head of purple kale. And yes, I do unfortunately have one plastic bag because this guy would not give me just dump the spinach into my bag. He's like, we don't do that. I educated this nice, sweet girl that made the granola. She had her stuff packaged in one of those um, like bags that's made of plastic and paper that you can't even recycle. And I just informed her of that because I asked her if she could dump it into my container and she was all for it. She's like, yeah, I really like that kind of stuff. I'd love to do that. And she's like, I'm not sure if this is plastic. And I'm like, it is. It's plastic and paper and it's actually worse than just plastic or just paper because you can't even recycle that. And she was super excited that I told her that because she doesn't want to be doing stuff like that. The stuff adding waste to the environment so that was cool I had some good experiences some bad but this is definitely not a long-term option if it cost me $54 for all that stuff oh. just to give you a more broken down idea of how much everything costs I've listed it here um, so as you can see it's at least two to three times as expensive as the grocery store um, at least the products that I usually buy so I'm definitely going to have to look for an alternative for this. I do have a couple of resources to finding other farmers markets nearby. I just chose the Brookhaven one because that was closest to my house. But I plan to try to check out some of these other farmers markets. Check out the description below. I provided the links to a couple of different sources that have a list of all the farmers markets in the Atlanta and roundabouts areas so feel free to check those out if you want to join me at one I always love company and I'm gonna be checking one out in the future to price compare and see if there's a little bit more variety of things to choose from because I'm committed to finding another way to grocery shop so I can reduce my plastic waste If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all your friends and tell them to hit subscribe too. See you later.